This is what Ordos looked like two years ago, a city of the future in the middle of nowhere. And a symbol of what drives economic growth in the country, infrastructure. But for whom? Because to our confusion, no one lived in Ordos. There are more people here, that's absolutely certain, but it's still pretty quiet. Here's the remarkable thing. The building hasn't stopped. Somehow people are convinced that if you keep building, people will come. If not in a few years, then eventually. It's a ghost city with ghost apartments. All these homes have been sold, but no one's moved in. The table's laid out ready for guests, but with no host or hostess, just ghost owners. What this suggests is that there's some other source of demand that's driving the market. That it's not end users who want a place to live. It's people who want to hold an investment. And for those people who want to hold an investment, uh, whether it's empty or not, it really doesn't make a difference. It's a store of value for them. It's like gold. China's had a tighter monetary policy from two years ago, in part done to fight off inflation. But the irony is, higher inflation has meant more people looking for a safer place to store their cash. Some place that's not the bank, some place that can keep up with the rate of inflation. For the moment, it's still in housing, and the banks still bankroll the building. If you are a state-owned company or if you are a state-sponsored project, it's not hard to get funding still in China, despite the tightening measures. So you have one of Asia's biggest fountains in the middle of the desert here in Ordos. And the theater we visited last time, empty, but for two concerts a year. But never mind that. Melissa Chan, Al Jazeera, Ordos, China.